All right, this time tomorrow, President Trump could be searching for a new Supreme Court nominee and a new deputy attorney general. The president's highly anticipated sit down with Rod Rosenstein is supposed to take place at the White House tomorrow afternoon. And despite rampant speculation that Rosenstein will get fired, the president is still taking a wait and see approach. Watch. I'm talking to him. We've had a good talk. He said he never said it. He said he doesn't believe it. He said he has a lot of respect for me. And he was very nice, and we'll see. Earlier today, House Speaker Paul Rhino said the decision to fire Rosenstein should belong to the president and the president alone. That didn't sit well with members who want a full hearing on Rosenstein's alleged proposal to record the president. Should Rod lose his job? Joining me now, Florida Congressman and Freedom Caucus member Matt Gates is back. Welcome back, Congressman. Good to be back with you. And it's never good for people in the Trump administration when the president says, we'll see about their employment status. I think the record for those folks is typically that they're on the way out. Well, the problem is the DOJ and the FBI have been accused of some impropriety when it comes to their spying tools, essentially. And what Rod Rosenstein is was even sarcastically threatening to do uh, goes beyond the confines of what an acting attorney general should be doing. You're absolutely right. And if you take the facts in the light most favorable to Rod Rosenstein, he was joking about wiretapping the president in front of colleagues and surrogates. That should never be allowed. You look at the standard that James Mattis has set at the DOD, where he said that not only would he not say things that were insulting to the president or the presidency, he would not even tolerate it at the Pentagon. And so we should not have a different standard at the Department of Defense as we have at the Department of Justice. And when you look at the context, Kennedy, it's the same Rod Rosenstein that it signed the fourth FISA renewal to authorize spying based on the Carter Page activity. That all is traced back to the Clinton dossier. So time and again, I think the context here would seem to indicate that it may be time for Mr. Rosenstein to move on. Yeah, and these bed-hopping strange bedfellows uh, certainly have no problem memorializing each other's conversations in order to cover their own arses. Uh, one of those people, Andrew McCabe, whose uh, memos on this very uh, conversation might be enlightening. Would you like to see the McCabe memo before you question Rod Rosenstein. I'd like to see the memos, but I don't know that they're dispositive to anything. Remember, this is the same Andrew McCabe that lied four times under oath and was referred for criminal prosecution. It's one of the reasons why many of us said the president shouldn't fire Rod Rosenstein until he had the chance to do precisely what he's doing right now, getting the facts, understanding the context. But to me, Kennedy, it's all sort of just talking heads and speculation yeah. if the guy doesn't get under oath. We need to hear under oath who was there, what he said, what was the context, and potentially potentially what was the fallout. Sometimes people joke about stuff mm -hmm. right before they actually intend to do it. Do you think it was inappropriate for Paul Ryan to uh, intervene on your behalf? Well, it was, certainly wasn't on my behalf, but you know, the speaker, unfortunately, has not taken a robust view of the Congress's oversight role in the last several months, whether it comes to demanding documents, enforcing subpoenas, ensuring that we have witnesses before us to conduct our investigation. We, we certainly need a lot more from our speaker in these perilous times to mm -hmm. ensure that we don't have agencies of government out there violating the rights of the citizens of this country. Yeah, he just wants to sit on fences and strangle catfish at this point. It's very sad. Congressman Gates, thank you so much. Thank you, Kennedy.